Hello friends, welcome to RS Tech Tutorial channel. This is Shahid your as your friend. So before starting the video, I would like that you should subscribe our YouTube channel so you can't miss out any update on the video that we were going to share later on. So as per our previous topics, I'm continuing with that. I am sharing the how to audit a website. So again, I am starting with this sheet also. Once again, and uh, as I told you earlier, if you want this sheet, you can comment on this video with your email, and I will process the this file audit file to you. So it will help in your division also. So let's begin with our the sheet. So previously we have studied about what are the on-page factors. So we have completed the SSL URL redirection, duplicacy, content duplicacy, page load speed, etc. After that, the next point is about H1, H2 tag keyword optimization so when we get any new website we have to check about its uh, on page appearance suppose uh, i'm taking the example of our website only rsoftech.com suppose when you go to this website then you have to identify that uh, what are the h1 tag, what are the h2 tag, uh, whether the keyword is properly inserted there or not. So how you can check them? You can do it on any website, if even if you didn't have any access of the WordPress. Simply you have to press the uh, control plus U. In control plus U, you can directly go to the page source code. Alternatively, you can have a right click on this and go to this vp source in this also you can view the source code of the of the particular web page so this is the coding version of this page so here i just have to type the h1 I, we are checking the h1 headers so uh, suppose i am checking the heading h1 so you can see the heading h1 is there best SAP online training institute in Mumbai this is our this is our H1 tag so you can see so for any website there should be a one H1 one H2 and later on H3 H4 H3 you can have multiple H3 multiple H4 but you need to have only what one H1 on your website because H1 is that thing that uh, tells the Google about the priority of your website. What is your website hierarchy? Suppose H1 is a parent category and H2 belong is, is child category. So it gives the structure of, about your content to the Google that uh, the particular article is about uh, starting from this. This is the most important part of your particular blog or web page. After that, the H2 is list prior, it's, it is under that section. So it gives a organizational structure of your web page. So hence we have to have any 1H1, 1H2, and we can have multiple number of H3, H4, H5, depending on the page length and what content. After that, you, so, when we audit any website, we check that uh, how many H1 tag, how many H2 tag that particular web page have. In case they have multiple number of H1, we recommend our client that you should have only one H1 tag on your website because it will make the Google crawler confused that uh, from where your web page is getting started. So we have to ensure that our web page should have only one H1 tag so that it would be okay for the Google crawler to crawl your page, to index your page. And Google will understand what uh, uh, 
what message you want to convey to that content so so in this case uh, in this h2 h2 case we are targeting the keyword sap online training institute so whenever the reader will type this keyword sap online training institute on the google search engine there is more visibility for, for, for us to have our our soft tech ranking on this particular keyword similarly h1 in case of h1 also in case of h1 also we are targeting this keyword sap online training institute so whenever the user will type this keyword sap online training institute in mumbai or particular location we can observe our visibility on the search engine suppose i am just for a demo i am giving you this i am copying this keyword and in a new incognito tab i am pasting it and uh, from uh, here i am setting this 200 okay so here i have done the settings for the keyword ranking now when i am going to search uh, uh, this page on this keyword I can clearly see that uh, my website is on which position. So I have typed this keyword over there and I have searching RH soft tech. So, you can see that our this website is on uh, approximately fifth position. 50th position, 5th page. So, in this way, you can identify the keywords also. Which position? So, ideally, a website should have a 1H1, 1H2 tag so that the Google Scholar will not enter. That's all for this now. Later, we will subscribe our channel. Thank you and have a great day.